Hello, I'm Don Veith of the Casada Academic All-America Committee. I'm joined today by Amanda Way, the Academic All-America of the Year for NC Division II Softball. Amanda, thank you for spending some time with me today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you know, this award not only is an academic award, but also your athletic ability. And it just is a testament to your playing and your academics. What does this award mean for you? Um, honestly, I mean, I think this award is just amazing. I mean, to think of all the young women that are out there playing softball at like a division two level and to even be like recognized amongst them. It's just like I'm grateful for it. And it really just shows like how tough it is to even, you know, compete at this level and then even keep a grade point average like that high, at least at Lindenwood, like. It was tough. Our team GPA was at a 3.66. So I just know like we have a great group of girls and I know there's a lot out there at the division two level. So I'm really honored to even be considered and recognized for this award. You know, um, you know, who who would you credit install those values in your life to be not only good on the field, but also be good in the classroom? Um, I mean, for sure, my parents, they definitely instilled that like you have to put in the work to reap the benefits from that. Um, I also think Lindenwood does a great job. Like our coaches, they usually set up a program, at least when you come in as a freshman, is that you do study hall hours with the school. So they really care about our grades and making sure that like we come to school to be at school and your athletics um, are just like a benefit and a good part of being there too. You know, it's, you're trying to balance all these different things in your life, uh, not only playing softball, but academics, uh, just your own life in general. And I'm sure you've had teammates before go, you know, how did you make that all work? So what 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 what, ha what did you make all work together? Um, I mean, honestly, probably just from a young age, I feel like my parents were really good at working on time management. And it came to a point like, if I want to play sports and I want to have like good grades, like I have to figure out how to make that happen. Um, so, I mean, I honestly credit a lot of that to both of my parents. They were just, they were hard on me. Like if I got a little bit lazy, but you know, also like lenient enough, like let me make the mistakes and let me figure it out. So if I wanted to have a social life and play sports and have good grades, I had to make that happen myself. So, I mean, and also it just comes from, having support, constant support from other family members, um, you know, like friends understanding they're in a sports too. They have to understand, oh, we have practices or I have to go do my homework and just stuff like that. And then also just having coaches that they give us the time and the patience with our grades and understanding that like we are still there for school. So, you know, this last year you dominated the circle for the wind and wood and, you know, you help you will broke all these records in as a D2 program. And also, you also proved yourself to have a very good bat batting in the middle of that lineup. Let's talk about your year. Um, I mean, yeah, it was a great year for our program as a whole. I mean, it was the first time we made it to the NCAA tournament, which I think is more than enough to be proud of for us. I definitely think we wish we could have went further, but I mean, we had a great year and as much of that success comes with my name, I mean, it also comes with my teammates that are behind me, making every play behind me, having a great defense, um, my catcher behind the plate, calling pitches. She's working back there to, like, make me look good. Our coaches preparing us before we go into every game, trying to set us up to be the most successful that we can. And honestly, just the endless support from my parents, like, friends, parents of other players just like constantly being there and like rooting for one another and putting the team before ourselves you know obviously making the NCAA tournament is going to be probably one of your favorites last year are there any other standout things that you can think of um honestly I just loved being around our team last year like it was just a great group of girls we got along we had fun and, like just the small things we would sit around at the hotel and play games or play cards or just converse with each other at meals, like just the little moments that really add up and make a year memorable. Uh, I also think 
our coaches really just made the year memorable by coming in and just making it such a positive and fun environment for all of us that we just all had a great time and enjoyed ourselves and enjoyed each other. Hey, you're, you just finished your junior year. And uh, uh, so what do you want to do past softball? And, you know, just talk about the future involving softball as well. Um, well, I still have another year of eligibility at Lindenwood. So I plan to play there for my senior year. Um, after that, I plan to do elementary education. I'm not sure where, but wherever it takes me is wherever I'll end up. So. All right. Well, thank you again, Amanda, for joining with me today. And yeah, thank, thank you, you once again. And congratulations on being this year's academic All-America of the Year in Division II softball. Thank you. That's awesome. Thanks.